Hello everyone, welcome to pass set number 13 on Crack the Clerk. In today's session, we'll be dealing with number series. Number series is a very important topic when it comes to clerical examinations. So, without wasting much time, let us take the examples and start solving them. In today's session, let us first take up missing terms and then proceed to wrong terms. And let us check the models which have appeared previously or the logics which have appeared in our previous examinations. So our first example goes like this. The first term here is 3, then 4, 12, 45 and 196. So when we check the first term and the last term and take the difference between them, the difference is not very big. The difference is small. Whenever there is a small difference, what do we do? We start, take, we start checking if the numbers are increasing or decreasing. See here, the number 3 is becoming 4 and then 12 and then 45 and then 196. The numbers are increasing. So let us see if they are increasing gradually or drastically. So 3 is becoming 4 and then 12. There is an increment of 1 and then 4 to 12, there is an increment of 8. So again, let us move on to the next one. 12 to 45, 45 minus 12, 45 minus 10 gives me 35, minus 2 gives me 33. So there is an increment of 33, incremented by 1, 8 and 33. So it is not step by step increment, whereas it is drastic increment or uneven increment. So what can we write here? So let us start comparing the first term and the next term instead of taking the difference between the two. So when we compare 3 and 4, what is 4? 4 is 1 greater than 3. It can also be written as 3 into 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 4, isn't it? Yes. So what about 12? How can we write 12 in this logic? So let us say our second term is 4 into 2. Here it is 1, here it is 2. 4 into 2 is 8. So 8 plus 4 gives me 12, isn't it? Yes. So 4 into 2 plus 4 is giving me 12. So let me check for the next term. So what is the, my third term here? Third term is 12. So let me write down 12. Here it's into 1, here in, into twice, into thrice. So what is 12 into 3? 12 into 3 is 36. So what do I need to add to 36 to get 45? I need to add 9 to 46, I mean 36 to get 45. So I've got my 45 here. So let's not move on to 196. It is complicated calculation. Let me stop here and start analyzing this. So what is here? 3 into 1 plus 1. 1 can also be written as 1 square. So 3 into 1 plus 1 square is nothing but 4. So next term, I mean next logic here or next calculations, 4 into 2 plus 4. 4 can also be written as 2 square. So 4 can also be written as 2 square. So 4 into 2 plus 2 square. See these two terms. These two terms are same. These two terms are same. So we are taking this term and squaring it and adding it to this product. So what are we getting? 4 into 2 plus 2 square is 12. So next term, 12 into 3, 9 can also be written as 3 square. Yes. So if I take 9 and write it as 3 square, if I add 9 to this product, I'm getting 45. What about my next term? So what is my term here? 45. So 45 into 4. And what, what must I add to that? It should be 4. So 4 square. So 45 into 4 gives me 180. 180 plus 4 square is 16. So I'll be getting 196. So I've got the la logic here. I've got the correct logic here. So let me start finding the missing term. What must be the missing term here? Missing term must be 196 into 5 plus 5 square. What is 196 into 5? 5 into 100, 500. 5 into 90, 450. So 950. 950 plus 30, 980. 980 plus 25. 980 plus 25 will give me 1005. So 1005 is my final answer. So when you start complicating the problems or the logic gets complicated, there must be different ways in which you need to write the, or different angles in which you need to think so that you can write down the logic in this ways as well. Let us move on to our next example here. So when we see this series, the number 16 is the first term, 
it is going on to increase and become 4600 and there is also a missing term here so when you see such term when you see such series what do you do you take the difference between the first term and the last term when you take the difference you observe that the difference is very huge so whenever the difference is very huge what do you do you go with either multiplication or division if the terms are increasing one after the other so you don't go with division instead you try with multiplication wait let me try the units place here is 6 the units place here is 5 so no matter what I multiply with 6 I don't get 5 so multiplication operation doesn't work here so there might be one or two or three logics which might be involved in this series so let us start thinking what shall we do here so what can I write 16 as 16 can also be written as 4 square yes so let me start searching for other square numbers here 4600 is easier number to search for squares so let me ignore these two zeros let me just take 46 is 46 a square number no 46 is not a square number so this logic will also not work here so whenever we are confused what do we do we start taking the difference let me take the difference between the first term and the second term what does the difference yield here whenever you subtract 1745 with 16 what do we get 1745 minus 10 gives me 35 1735 minus 6 gives me 1729 yes i'm getting 1729 here let me take the difference between the second term and the third term if i take the difference between 3257 and 7745 what do i get 3200 minus 1700 gives me 1500 so 57 minus 45 gives me 12 45 plus 10 gives me 55 plus 2 gives me 57 so if I take difference between third term, second term and third term, I get 1512. So what if I take the difference between third term and the fourth term? Here it is 57. So let me add 3. So if I add 43, it, it gives me 1000, uh, 3300. So 3300. So it should be 1343. So if I add 1343 to 3257, I get 4600. So let me see what can I do further. So when I see these terms, I see 729, I see 512, I see 343. As we have already told you to memorize the cube still 10. What is 729? 729 is nothing but 9 cube. What about 512? 512 is 8 cube. What is 343 here? 343 is 7 cube. So I can write these as 1000 plus 729 let me change the marker if i write this as 1000 plus 729 what do i get it would be 1000 plus 9 cube similarly for this i can write them as 1000 plus 8 cube and then 1000 plus 7 cube so what must be my missing term here the difference between 4600 and my missing term must be 1000 plus 6 cube. What is 6 cube? 6 cube is 216. So I must be adding 1216 to 4600 to get my missing term. What if I add 1216 to 4600? What do I get? 4600 plus 12,200 gives me 5,800, 5,816. So 5,816 will be my final answer. Let us move on to our next example here. When we start looking at the terms, it's 9.5, 1.5, 11, 12.5, and 23.5. When you see these terms, it is very easy to identify that. Check the first number, and the second number try to add those 9.5 plus 1.5 is giving me 11 so yes it was very simple I added 9.5 to 1.5 I got 11 let me check this logic for the next terms as well so what if I add 1.5 to 11 if I add 1.5 to 11 I get 12.5 
yes i'm getting this logic to be right so let me check for the next term as well what is 12.5 plus 11 12.5 plus 10 gives me 22.5 plus 1 23.5 yes so the logic is working everywhere so what do i do to get my missing term i have to take the previous two terms and add those two so let me take 23.5 add it with 12.5 23.5 plus 0.5 is 24 24 plus 12 gives me 36 so my missing term here is 36 and that's my final answer this problem yes was quite simple let us move on to our next example and start checking those so when we see the numbers here 84 and the next one is 42 and then 28 so what is 42 when compared to 84 42 is half of the first term so 42 is half of the first term 84 into 1 by 2 gives me 42 let me check the same logic for the next one as well so 42 into 1 by 2 gives me 21 but 28 is not equal to 21 or it is some not near to 21 as well so let me check for 1 by 3 so what is one third of 42 so 42 into 1 by 3 will give me 42 1 by 3 14 so 42 divided by 3 gives me 14 so what is 28 28 is twice of 14 yes so i can write that as well 42 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 sorry 1 by 3 into 2 so 42 into 3 by 2 is giving me 28 so let me check for the same logic for the next term so here it was 1 by 2 then it was 2 by 3 so the numerator is increasing by 1 the denominator is also increasing by 1 so let me take the previous term 28 let me check the same logic here so the next term should be 3 by 4 what is 28 by 4 28 by 4 gives me 7 what is 7 into 3 7 into 3 is giving me 21 yes my logic is working here so let me apply the same logic and get my missing term here so next what should i do i should take 21 multiply it with 4 by 5 so what is 21 into 4 21 into 4 is 84 what is 84 by 5 80 divided by 5 gives me 16 so 4 is remaining so 16 point uh, yeah 40 so it is 8 so 16.8 will be my final answer let us move on to our next examples here let us start looking at the series the series here is 47 it is increasing to become 51 then again it is decreasing to become 43 again there is a decrement again increment so there is no fixed logic followed here and the number of check for the number of terms the number of terms here are more generally you'll have four or five terms in the series so here the series the terms are more and it's not following any fixed logic so let us start checking if there are two or more series involved in this so let me see these three terms are close to them close to each other and these ones are close to each other let me assuming this also to be close to these two terms so let me take the first term and the second term what is 51 51 is 4 more than 47 so 47 plus 4 is giving me 51 what about 43 and 51 when i compare 43 and 51 51 is 8 greater than 43 but wait 47 and 43 are nearby so let me compare 47 and 43 what is 43 here 43 is 4 less than 47 so if i subtract 4 from 47 i am getting 43 here so yes my logic of plus 4 and minus 4 is satisfying for this let me check for the same for this next one so it would be 38 so what is 42 42 is 4 greater than 38 so 38 plus 4 is giving me 42 yes it is following the same logic so what must be this missing term here missing term must be 38 minus 4 what is 38 minus 4 it is 34 34 is my final answer let us move on to our next example here when you start looking at the example even these this question has many terms let me see if they're gradually increasing decreasing or whatever it is so 16 then it is becoming 20 increasing to become 22 and then again there is a decrement 
then there is a decrement and increment so they're not following any fixed logic here so what must be there there might be two or three logics involved like the previous one let me see which are the terms which are closer to each other see, 9 4 and 14 are close to each other so yeah 14 10 and 18 are also closer to each other so let me assume this also would be closer to each other so let me start solving for this so when I see, let me start coming from the behind because there is a question mark in the beginning or the missing term is at the first place. So let me start solving from the end. So what is 9 and 4? Four? 4 is 5 less than 9. So what is 4? Four? 4 is 9 minus 5. So I'm getting 4. So what about 14? 14 is 10 greater than 4. But when it compare with 9, 14 is 5 greater than 9. So 9 plus 5 is giving me 14 let me check for the same logic here so 14 minus 5 no here 14 minus 4 is giving me 10 so here it was minus 5 here it is minus 4 let me check for the next term as well 14 and 18 when I check them so what is 18 18 is 14 plus 4 so that would be 18 so here it is minus 5 here it is minus 4 what must be here it should be minus 3 so this term should be minus 3 so let me consider this term to be x so x minus 3 should be giving me 16 let me verify that with the next step as well so what is this x plus 3 should give me 22 so what would be the difference between 16 and 22 if there is minus 3 and plus 3 as difference here the difference should be 6 isn't it yes so 16 and 22 the difference is 6 therefore x is nothing but it is 3 greater than 16 what is my missing term here the missing term here is 3 greater than 16 which is nothing but 16 plus 3 which is giving me 19 19 is my final answer in today's session till now we have been dealing with missing terms now let us look at wrong terms here so let me take my first example on wrong terms here what is the series here? The series goes like this. It is 21, 23, 29, 47 and 78. All are close to each other or somewhere nearby each other. And what is the difference between 21 and 78? The difference is not very big. So let us start taking the difference between the successive terms. So when I take difference between 21 and 23, what is it? I get 2 as my difference. So what if I take a difference between 23 and 29? 29 minus 23, I get 6 as my difference so what about 29 and 47 29 plus 8 gives me 37 so 18 gives me 47 so what if I take difference between 47 and 78 47 plus 1 gives me 48 plus 30 gives me 78 so the difference here is 39 when you see these numbers what can 2 be written as 2 can also be written as 2 into 1 isn't it? Yes. What can 6 be written as? 6 can be written as 2 into 3. What about 18 here? 18 can also be written as 2 into 9. So see these terms here. It is 21 into 1. It is 23. 2 into 3. And here it is 29. 2 into 9. And here it is 31. So it can be written as 3 into 1 but are the terms matching here the term here is 47 and our difference here is 38 which which is not right so what must have been our difference here it must have been 4 into 7 which is nothing but 28 so our term or the final term here is 3 greater than our actual term what must have been our actual term our actual term must have been 47 plus 28 47 plus 28 gives me 47 plus 8 gives me 55 55 plus 20 gives me 75 so my final answer must have been 75 but there is 78 so the wrong term here is 78 let us move on to our next example here when you see such series it is 1 by 16 1 by 3 1 again 1 0 minus 1 and minus 16 there is no fixed logic here so what's happening whenever we see the terms here it is square term and there is another square term here 
So let me start writing them as terms of squares. So what can I write 1 by 16 as? It can be written as 1 by 4 square. What can 1 by 4 square be written as? It can also be written as 4 to the power minus 2. Yes. So what can 1 by 3 be written as? 3 can, 1 by 3 can be written as 3. What's happening here? The bases here are decreasing. The powers here are increasing. So what must be my next term here? It should be 4, 3. So it should be 2 to the power minus 2 minus 1. So it should be 0. What is 2 power 0? It is 1. So I'm getting it right. So my logic is right. So let me start checking for the next term as well. So the bases here are decreasing. So it should be 1. So the powers here are increasing. So it should be 1 again. So what is 1 power 1? It's again 1. What about my next term? Again, the base here is decreased and the power here is increased. What is 0 to the power 2? It is 0. So I'm getting the right one. So what about my next term here? Next term here should be 0. So minus 1, the old power 3. So what is minus 1 cube? It is nothing but minus 1 itself. So what about my next term? It should be minus 2 to the power 4. What is minus 2 to the power 4? Minus 2 to the power 4 should be 16. Yes, minus 2 to the power 4 is 16. But what do I have in my equation here? I have minus 16. Any negative number to even power is always positive. So my answer must be plus 16. Whereas there is minus 16 here. So this would be my wrong term. Let us move on to our next examples here. When you see the terms like this. So let me see. Let me start writing 7 and 22. How can I write 22 in, with respect to 7? It can be 7 into 3 plus 1. So whenever you see small terms, the difference will not be, difference cannot be properly identified. So instead, let me take the middle terms here. What is 60 and 144? How can I write 144? 60 into 2 is 120. 120, to, 120 is near to 144. So 60 into 3 is 180. Again, 180 is also near to 144. But let me check with 120 first. So 60 into 2, 60 into 2 gives me 120. So what should I add to 120 to get 144? I should add 24. So if I add 24 to 120, I get 144. So let me check for this answer again. So what must be here? I should be multiplying this term 22 with 2. So let me do that first. 22 into 2 would give me 44. So 44, what if I add to 44, I get 60. 44 plus 16 gives me 60. So it's plus 16 here. Have I got some logic here? No. Let me start checking for the next as well. So what should I do? I should multiply the first term with 2. So 7 into 2. That would be 7 into 2 is 14. What if I add to 14, I get 22. It should be 8. So 7 into 2 plus 8. So what have I got here? It is plus 8, 7 into 2 plus 8. So again, the next term into 2 plus 16. Again, the next term into 2 plus 24. What are 8, 16 and 24? They are the multiples of 8. So what might be my term here? It would be 144 into 2 plus, it is 24 here, so it should be 32. So let me check for that. 144 into 2 is 200, 280, 288. 288 plus 32 gives me 290 plus 30, 320. But what do I have here? I have 300 instead of 320. So my answer should have been 320, but there is 300. So what's my wrong term here? My wrong term is 300. So let us move on to our last question for the day. So when we see the uh, terms here or the series like this, the series is the series consists of various numbers. It is more than five terms here. And first one is increasing to become nine. And then again it is decreasing. And again there is an increment, increment, again there is a decrement. So as I've already told you, there might be two or more logics involved within it. So let me check for the two series here. Let me skip the first term. Let me see which are the terms which are nearby. So one, six, thirty-six. All these are somewhere nearby or somewhere related to each other. So how is 1 related to 6? 1 into 6 gives me 6. What about 36? 
6 into, I mean sorry, 6 into 6 gives me 36. So 6 into 6 is nothing but 36. What about buying six, term 216? What is 216? 36 into 6 should be 216. Let me check for that. 36 into 6. 30 into 6 gives me 180. 186 into 6 gives me 36. So 180 plus 36 gives me 212. Yes, I've got the right answer, right logic here. 36 into 6. So let me check for the other terms. Do they follow the same series, similar kind of thing? Are the second series involved in the same series? So 9 and 5. So 9 into 6, no. 9 plus 6 here gives me 15. So if I add 6 to 9, I'm getting 15. What about my next term here? So 15 plus 6 gives me 21. Yes, this is also following a certain series. So what should be my next term there? So 21 plus 6 should have should be my next term here. What is 21 plus 6? It is 27. My answer should have been 27, whereas I have 51 here. So which is the wrong term? The wrong term here is 51. So instead, I should have had 27 there. So if you have liked the type of questions we have given and the type of logics which we have solved here, please do like, share and subscribe.